TC, I'm glad you said right into that. I'm going to go to the Citadel of Shooting in the UCLA Bruins. I mean, they're averaging 92.3 points a game, which is no, it was first in the NCAA. They're also leading the way with 21.7 assists. Alonzo Ball is number one in the country for 7.6 assists every game. They have the most difficult conference, and yet they have beaten the Kentucky Wildcats 97-92. And not only that, TJ Leaf is, is shooting a career high 62.8%. How can you go with not how can you not go with the numbers there, TC? I mean, numbers, women lie, men lie, Did numbers lose don't. Arizona will hurt UCLA too, is that their game is so dependent on this. And Lonzo Ball can make it from outer space, don't yeah. get me wrong. But I just think that when you get to the tournament, you play the better teams with the bigger guards, they, but, can't, they can't win. But that Hank, fight. I gotta Defense take it there. I, 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 gotta exactly. take, I gotta take it there, though. Isn't that what makes the Golden State Warriors so ferocious? That that shooting attack. I mean, at a college, a collegiate level, we're we're gonna we're gonna you know take that and make that insignificant. At the end of the day, when you have a player shooting 62% from the field, I, from I, the field, and you're you're leading the Devin, NCAA in scoring, Devin, I, how can you not say? I, I got basketball team was in action last night. LeBron dazzled with the basketball world yet again. I have highlights for both games when TV2 returns. Won't be easy, but led by stellar seniors Larissa Lurkin and McKenna Make Some Noise Stevens, the hometown has their hearts set on Cleveland. Tip-off is at 7 o'clock p.m. on ESPN3 for viewing pleasures. Let's go Flashes. I think with this, this late prowess of Jalen Walker, you know, just dominating offensively, I mean... You got a guard him. I mean, the he's open all the time. I mean, he's, he's, he's a wild card. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he's just... just Fine athlete, just great basketball IQ. I mean, he plays very well with the team, and I see that leadership position coming up, and he's really trying to establish that for him. The Flashes were in a league of their own as they dominated the Youngstown State Penguins in a double-headed showdown. When, when, during the playoffs, he asked if he was taking too many shots, and he said no. And when the, the questions about comments about Mark Cuban coming at uh, Russell Westbrook, he said no, let me handle it. That was a stupid question. It is what it is. Kevin Durant stood up and took that leader role position defending his player, his brother, his comrade in arms. So, so for Westbrook to do the same, it seems counteractive. And that's the only thing that I have a big issue I with. The State women's basketball team pursues victory tonight over the Toledo Rockets in the queue at 7 p.m. And with International Women's Day upon us, I feel it's only right to pay homage to the women who sacrifice each and every day in making a difference as a student athlete and being a pillar for women all across the country. Ladies, I would like to say as a man, we have your back, and now take the mat. Stay tuned for updates. Go Flashes. Ooh, you're right, women. We've got, right. we got good things in store That's for right. women here. That's so right. Do. That's right. And because it's International uh, Women's Day, I want to say thank you, Mama, for raising uh. a good man. So I think you know. I'm going to have to go with my UCLA Bruin here, Mr. Russell Westbrook. 31 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and a steal. <clears throat> 6'3", 200 pounds. The numbers don't make and, sense. And, and, he's do, and he's doing it. Love Luke for LeBron. Trust me, I'm from Akron, baby. Shout out to Let King him know. James. Let him know. Shout, out, <laughs> shout out to King yeah. James. But as far as the MVP, most valuable player on the team, 31, 10, 10, and, and a steal. And you're only 6'3", 200. With LeBron, with LeBron, he's done that. Don't get me wrong. But it's time for some new blood on the block, and his name is Russell Le West. <laughs> LeBron. It was magic in Cleveland last night, but apparently not for Orlando. I've got more coming later in my sports report. Kent State's softball team hosted a double-headed monster against the Ohio Bobcats yesterday evening at Schoonover Stadium. It was an opening day, folks, and let me tell you, it was a tug of war. The Bobcats took game one, shutting out the Lady Flashes 6-0, but redemption was on their mind, taking game two with senior slugger Maddie Grimm, smashing her 11th home run on the season. You know, Chipper, I'm not going to be biased because I am a Bengals fan, you know, but I, I think they had the best draft because with John Ross, 4-2, electrifying. This adds more um, utility to Andy Dalton's offense. As far as Joe Mixon, I know he He's a character guy, you know, whatever the case may be. But and he's he, a, but, uh, that's a bit but, of a character. But, 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 <laughs> but Cincinnati has been known for taking characters and making them into great oh, yes, players, they have. especially with that, that character building uh, facility. It's one of the few Marvin attributes I can give to Marvin Lewis yeah. in his character. <laughs> yeah. But but as far as the AFC North, I think that the Cincinnati. Well, I like Leggett because Leggett was a part of all the teams that mm -hmm. went to uh, the, the post the Clemson, yeah. postseason. You know, as far as uh, winning the Orange Bowl against Ohio State his year. But I'm going to go with the sleeper. His name is Adam Shaheen. Adam Shaheen yeah. drafted out of Ashland. Ashland. Se second round pick, 40, uh, second round pick, 45th pick. I mean, career wise, uh, 127 catches, 1,755 yards, and 26 touchdowns for, for Ashland. I mean, the guy, and he's a whopper, 6'6, 278, <laughs> I mean, 78 pounds. That's somebody you can build, um, as far as the Chicago Bears, that's somebody you can build around that exterior offense. Tell us about Oh, uh, man, well, you know what, guys? This is actually my first year in, in uh, broadcasting, and you guys gave me the opportunity to do so to extend my ideas and extend my creativity. So, honestly, I would like to say to all of the people who have been viewing and watching this, thank you guys so much. I've just been extremely blessed to work with such professional individuals, so thank you. It means a lot, Devin.